Hey, welcome to this week's episode of Mark TV. Every so often, I encounter somebody who is such an innovator, such a trendsetter, someone who has such a presence online and in social media. Well, we got to get them on the show. Now, who could it be for this episode? Who could it be who's had a blog for just two months and has already been featured in mainstream media and getting thousands of views per day and tons of comments? Who could this person be? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you and I'm going to have her share with you some of the things she does to get her following. So you were wondering who is one of the most popular bloggers in the country right now? Were you thinking Perez Hilton? No, I don't think so. It's Hannah, right? Hannah Alper. Yes. And how old are you, Hannah? I'm nine years old. Nine years old. And you've got this really cool blog that you do yourself, right? Yeah. What's the blog called? CallMeHannah.ca. Call me Hannah. That's a cool name. Where'd you come up with that? <laughs> the song Call Me Maybe. Really? Call Me Maybe? Oh, by Carly Rae Jepsen. That's right. Are you a big fan of hers? Yeah. Very cool. So, when did you start your blog? I started my blog two months ago at the end of July. Oh, yeah? What made you decide to do that? Um, well, I started at the Digital Family Summit. Um, it's a conference where you, your family can bring all your kids. Um, and I got my website, I got my blog at a, wor at a WordPress workshop. It took three hours. And by the time the three hours passed, I had a blog. And wow. on the way home, I wrote my first blog post. Very cool. So they showed you how to set it up and, yeah. and make it all fancy and make it look. Well, my dad like, kind of set up for me. Your dad helped you out. Yeah, He's my dad helped me. Yeah. Very Since cool. He has a blog. So you just like to write all kinds of stuff that's of interest to you, right? Um, yeah, like the environment, um, things that I love, things that are important to me. I wrote a few blogs about summer camp since I just went there. Uh, wow. Have you yeah. always wanted to share your ideas? Yeah. And stuff like that? You're, you like writing and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So when you write something, do you put it right online or do you let your parents look at it first? Well, yeah, my mom helps me edit it out. My dad just looks at it right after it's published. Mm -hmm. And then my mom and dad share it online. Oh, very cool. And are you getting a lot of followers? Um, I haven't gotten followers, but I've gotten comments and views. Um, that's it. I haven't really gotten followers Do yet. you know how many people look at your blog? Because it must be a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I look at it yeah. a lot. Yeah. And, and how many people are looking at your blog? More than 500. Um, more than 500. All together or per day? Um, or? Well, I've, on busiest day, I've gotten 500 views. On, wow. And I've got like thousands of views all the time. Thousands of views. Wow, that's amazing for a blog that's only been on a couple months. Yeah. So what are you doing to get people to look at your blog? What do you think is working um, for you? Well, I'm getting people, well, my mom and dad are sharing it, so that's like a big difference. Mm -hmm. And kind of, it kind of, to me, it kind of amazes people that like this girl's nine years old. How she's, she has a blog. Oh, I'm going to look at it. And I want to kind of try to write an actual blog post not like just a few words and I want to write about things I love and important things and also make it interesting I guess for yeah. people to want to read right yeah so even kids even kids so you're going after all age groups right adults yeah. and kids yeah and you're also getting people that you know namely your parents to let their friends and connections know about you yeah and also I guess you're doing a lot of entries as well right how often do you blog um, I blog once or twice a week at the most. I kind of do it twice a week because if I, to me, if I just blog once, I get bored and I don't want to let it sit, one, one post sit for a week. Right, and I guess keeping it current also makes people want to come back. Yeah, it kind of just gets more comments and it makes you more enjoy the blog. Very cool. Now I notice you get a lot of comments. In yeah. fact, I think she gets more comments than I do. So I notice in addition to all your comments, you also respond to everybody's comment. You thank yeah. them. Is that a good thing to do? Would you suggest other people do that um, as well? Yeah, I do it because I think it feels good um, because if they be, cause they're they being really nice to you and they take the time to write that comment and they take the time to read my blog. So I'm taking the time to read my comment and think about it and just write it. And I think it makes me and the people who are commenting really good makes people commenting really good because they thought like 
Oh, I really, Hannah really liked this comment. I'm going to so keep the, commenting so she can respond to it. So they know that you appreciate them taking yeah, the time to comment. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And helps you connect with them. Yeah. Do you think that's important to connect with people who are reading your blog? Yeah, most of them are my mom and dad's friends. Okay, but now you must be getting your own friends now, yeah. right? Yeah. People are probably like, yeah, forget mom and dad. We want to get to know Hannah, right? Yeah. That's right, because you're becoming like a star in your own right. For sure. So if somebody wanted to start a blog, what advice would you give them? Um, I would give them just like don't give it up. Uh, if you start a blog, don't really give it up and enjoy it. Don't do the blog for all the hits or all the comments. Like the comments and the views, they're nice. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Um, but the most important part of a blog is for you to enjoy it. To, to enjoy it. And a blog is just like a journal. Um, and I take a journal to school and I write stories and all that. But a blog is just a journal, but you're sharing it with everyone. And you're sharing amazing experiences. And that's just all it is. So it's important to just be yourself. Yeah, and, and, and talk enjoy about things it. that you like. And enjoy it, right? That's what's important. So if it becomes work and not fun anymore, then yeah. probably you should stop, I guess, huh? Yeah. yeah. Just don't do the blog for all the hits or all the comments. That sounds like awesome advice. Yeah. I think that would be great advice for not just kids, but even adults and business people, right? That they should all just write a blog about things they're interested in. Yeah. Right? And not worry so much about the hits and the yeah. views and all that kind of stuff. They're nice, but they're not the most important part. That's right. And they'll come in time, right? That's right. So it's important to find your audience. Would you yeah. say that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is like the best advice ever. And I think anyone could apply it, right? Yeah. So if people already have a blog and they think they're blogging all over the place about all kinds of different things, would you suggest maybe they focus on, on, on things that they really believe in or should they just yeah, um, blog about everything? That they they can shouldn't think blog of? about everything. They, well, they should think about what they're going to blog about and they should think, will people really want to read this? Will people think that this is interesting? Um, will, they, will they really like it? And you have to just think about, you have to focus on it, don't get off topic. Just um, things, things that you're important, that's important to you. You can write about things that, whatever you want, mm -hmm. but they have to be important things and things that you believe in. For sure, that's always important. Because that's what, usually what you know the most about, isn't it? Things that you, you love and enjoy and that are important to you. Perfect. Well, there you go. That is some amazing advice. Thank you so much, Hannah. You're welcome. And a link to Hannah's site, Call Me Hannah is right below here and of course if you like this episode and want to share it and I know you're going to want to share it just click on one of the uh, the share buttons on the side of this video and of course they can visit your blog and and comment yeah on something they read and, and, you know what? and you'll write back you know, isn't that amazing there you go so with Hannah from call me Hannah I'm Mark Gordon and you've been watching Mark TV hey I just met you